or where the next breakthrough is going to come from. Are you looking at the ideas, like here's a one-off idea that's interesting, or do you look to people, like Apple's been brilliant, the Fusion IEO people have been brilliant. How do you know oh, huh. what's going to well, break through? A great company needs great people. <laughs> that's much more important than even a great idea or a great technology, but generally you need good technologists, good marketing people, good operations people. You know, you need to solidly cover the core, like I said, A players. And uh, where's the next success going to be? Is that what you're getting at? That's what we'll be sure. Go ahead. Companies that are great, well, Apple's really showing off the world that, that the new innovation, the new things we didn't ever expect in our life can even come out of a large company. Google's doing a great job too. And Google's working much closer towards that brain that, um, that'll be smarter than us, more than any other company. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, so, how do you know a company? I look, I look at the needs of people. For example, if I use something or I sense it, then I would want this in my life. I would like to go on Amazon and order something and have a little drone deliver it to my, desk, my doorstep in 15 minutes. I want it. And if I feel that want, I feel that I kind of share it with an awful lot of humans and things are going to happen because of what consumers want. That I, I always believe in the consumer, you know, being getting what they want to be the most important thing in life. Um, I don't think that tells you necessarily which products are going to go next. Um, we're, we're talking about drones, obviously self-driving cars. The first application of self-driving cars are going to be little self-driving delivery vehicles to your home. I think that's going to be very important. And long-distance trucks on, on the highways that's already being done. So, um, you know, you can, so you can use your own estimates. I, I can't, I'm not going to give you a, a whole list, but you just think, what are the things that people really want to change their life, that improve their life, that make things easier, better, and economics win? Steve, I love to drive, and I think a lot of people here, too, love to drive. Are we, are we going to be allowed to in a decade's time? Well, okay, it probably makes a little more sense back in the United States is where my thinking is, and some people are saying that in 20 years, it will be illegal to drive your car. And I know it's a joke because I love driving too. I love my cars. I've got a beautiful Tesla so I can pass you Ferrari owners. And I'm just kidding then. <laughs> but I, um, Careful. Uh, but, I, but I've always, I always loved being a driver, a little sports car and this and that. Then again, some people lose the ability to drive. Self-driving cars are going to solve some problems. But here's what's going to happen. In let's say five years, probably every manufacturer in the world will be selling self-driving cars in a country like the United States. And the accident rates are going to come in. And the accident rates are going to be, you know, maybe 10 to 1 or 20 to 1 or higher of humans causing accidents versus self-driving cars avoiding accidents. And that's when the laws are going to start to change to basically force over a period of time all cars to be self-driving. And maybe they'll let us, those of us who love cars and driving, have certain roads. Some roads will be, you'll be allowed to have human drivers, like nice little beach paths and curvy roads in the mountains and things we like Where to we drive. Where we can't do much harm. 